Hello everyone. In this session, we want to discuss importing and exporting MBS policies. When we export an MBS policy, what we are really doing is exporting the entire NPS configuration. There is no option for going to a policy itself and exporting that policy. We have to export the entire configuration. Whatever you have configured, your radius clients, your servers, your network policies, your connection request policies, and so on. There are three methods that we can use to import and export this MPS configuration. We can use the net sh command line. We can use Windows PowerShell and we can use the MPS console itself. Let's look at the command for the net sh. And the command is export file name equal the path. And we have here a folder on the C drive called exported MPS. And MPS file is the name that we want to give to the XML file. Because when we export that file, we export it in the format of an XML file. And we have this parameter export PSK equal yes, and as long as you're using NetSH on the command line to import and export, you have to use export PSK, which is your pre shared key. Remember that it is export PSK equal yes. And then we have the command. Let's look at the command for the Windows PowerShell export and import it's simply export mps configuration and the path where you want to save that file and the file name so let's say that we wanted the file name to be new file mps.xml that's the name that we would put if we wanted to import we would use the same command but instead of export we would use import and then we can actually do it from the MPS console. And we're going to take a look at all three methods right now. We're going to be looking at the export of the NPS policy using the net sh command line. On the taskbar, we want to right click on the star icon. And we want to select command prompt. At the command prompt, we want to type net sh. So we're going to type net sh. And then we want to click on enter. At the net sh command prompt, we want to type nps. And click on enter to execute that command. At the NPS prompt, we now need to type that command that will allow us to export the configuration for the NPS server. So we're going to type export space file name. Equal, I'm going to give a uh, open quotation mark here. And we're saving the file on the C drive in a folder that we would have already created called exported MPS. So we're going to type C colon exported MPS. 
MPS. And now we want to give the name for the XML file that we want to export. So we click on the slash. I'm going to call the file NPS config. Dot XML. Remember the file that we export will be in XML format. We want to close those quotation marks. And remember that whenever we're using the net sh command, we need to type export PSK. PSK stands for the pre-shared key. So we want to type export. Caps, we're going to type the PSK in caps. Equal, yes. So let's make sure we have the command correctly. Export file name, equal, the path. We want to save the file and the name that we're going to give to the file itself, which in our which is in our case npsconfig.xml, and not forgetting the export psk equal yes. We now want to click on enter to execute that command, and we can see that the NPS server configuration is successfully exported. If we wanted to import the configuration, you would probably go to the server that you wanted to import that configuration on and at the command prompt you will type the same thing but instead you would be typing import instead of export. Next, we're going to use the Windows PowerShell command to export MPS configuration. So let's go ahead and close our command prompt here and we want to get the Windows PowerShell prompt so we want to click right click here on the Windows PowerShell icon and we want to click on run as administrator and we want to type that command the PowerShell command and remember the command is export MPS configuration so we're going to click Shift and E for the capital E, export, X-P-O-R-T. Hyphen, NPS configuration, Shift N, PS, capital C for configuration. O N F I G U R A T I O N space and then we're going to type the path so hyphen path space and we're going to save this directly on the C drive and we're going to give the name NPS config dot xml remember that your file must be an xml file 
and we simply got to execute that command by pressing enter and the file is exported or saved all you need to do is to go to the part where you save the file to look and see that the file has been exported to import the file using the windows powershell command instead of export on the server that you are importing it on you will type the same command but replace the export with the import we're going to close the PowerShell window and we're going to use the MPS console itself to import and export. All we need to do is to right click on MPS local and select export configuration. We want to take note here of this box and we're going to click on it, making sure that we are aware. I am aware that I'm exporting all shared secrets. When you export Radius clients and remote Radius server shared secrets, ensure that the exporting file is stored in a secure location. So whenever you import, you export, the secret is available for anyone to see. So you want to make sure that you store the file. Secret meaning the password. Also take note that any SQL server login settings are not exported to the file. After you do the import to the other MPS server, you have to manually configure the SQL server login. So we want to go ahead and click on OK. We now want to type the name of the XML file that we want to export. And we're going to call that NPS config three. And let's press enter here. And then we want to click on save to save that file. If we wanted to import, we will move to the other MPS server, and we simply do the same thing, but instead of saying export, we would say import. For example, we simply right click, we would say import configuration. You would look for the configuration where you had saved it. You might have it on external, you might have copied it over to the server. Simply look for it. Find it and click on open. And it will tell you that the MPS server configuration was successfully imported to the MPS server. And it would remind you that if you use SQL server logging, you have to manually configure the login settings. And you click OK. So we looked at three methods. We looked at using the NetSH command line. We looked at using the Windows PowerShell. And we just saw that we can actually use the MPS console to import and export those network policies. If you're using NetSH, you probably have servers prior to 2012. Because when we had 2012, then we were able to use the Windows PowerShell. And now with 2012 R2, we can actually do it from the MPS console itself. This is the end of our session, and I want to thank you for listening.